Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to start say 7.2 and we are going to solve the first question. The question says in an isosceles triangles ABC when AB is equal to AC the bisector of angle B and angle C intersect each other at O. Join AO and you have to show that OB is equal to OC and you have to prove that AO bisects angle A. So first of all, this is an isosceles triangle and what is the property of isosceles triangle? It has two equal sides and AB and AC are the sides which are given equal in this triangle. Now there is a property that in a triangle if two sides are equal then the angle opposite to these sides are also equal. It means if I am saying that this side is equal to this side, so the angle opposite to this side which is this, if I make another diagram for you, if I am saying these two are the equal sides in a triangle, so the side, so the angle opposite to these sides, so the angle opposite to this, this and the, this, these two angles must also be equal. This is a property here. So similarly, if these two sides are equal, so the side of the angle opposite to this, which is this, must be equal to this one. So these two angles must be equal here. Means if I am saying that this angle is of 80 degree, this angle must also be equal to 80 degree. Okay. Now it is given that the bisector of angle B and angle C intersect each other at O means this is the bisector of angle B and what does bisector means? Bisector means when you divide something into two equal parts means if you are bisecting this angle means you are dividing this angle into two equal parts. Similarly here also you are bisecting angle C means you are dividing angle C into two equal parts. If this complete angle is of 80 degree so obviously these two angles must be equal to 40 degree and 40 degree each. Similarly this also equals to 40 degree and 40 degree each. Now what we have proved that this small angle is equal to this small angle. And if these two angles are equal then the side opposite to these angles must also be equal. This is the reverse of what we have applied in the previous one means if two sides are equal the angle opposite to these sides are equal and if two angles are equal then the side opposite to these angles are also equal so if these two base angles are equal so the side opposite to this this is OC and the side opposite to this which is OB should must also be equal this is the same thing you have to write now in a triangle ABC it is given that AB is equal to AC therefore angle B must be equal to angle C this is angle equal angle opposite to equal sides now if these two angles are equal so this is the bisector means this angle is half of this complete angle and means I am dividing this equation by 2. So this is B by 2 and this is C by 2 and half of B can be written as this angle which is OBC. So instead of this I can write angle OBC must be equal to angle OCB which is OCB these two angles now in triangle OBC which is small one OBC in, in this triangle this these two base angles are equal so obviously side opposite to these which is OB and O C must also be equal. This is again equal sides opposite to 
equal angles. So this is how you can prove the first one. Okay. Now you have to prove that AO also bisects angle A. You have to prove that this AO bisects angle A means this AO divides this angle A into two equal parts. For that there is only one possibility that if you want to prove that this angle is equal to this angle for that you need to prove that this triangle carrying this angle is congruent to this triangle carrying this angle. So you need to prove that this triangle is congruent to this triangle and then if you are able to prove that these two triangles are congruent so by CPCT you will be able to prove that this angle is equal to this angle. Now how to prove these two triangles congruent? This side of this triangle is equal to this side of this triangle is already you have proved that this OB or side of this triangle is equal to OC side of this triangle. This side of this triangle is already given equal to this side of this, uh, this triangle which is AB is equal to AC and this angle which is of 40 is again equal to this angle. So by side angle side you can prove that these two triangles are congruent and if these two triangles are congruent so obviously by CPCT these two angles must also be equal. Same thing you have to write down. So first of all we are working in triangle that is AOB AOB and triangle AOC okay AB is given equals to AC this is given to you and OB is equals to OC this we have proved and angle this is equals to angle this Again, we have proved that angle AO ABO is equal to angle ACO. This is this we have proved by this same method. These two angles are equal, and half of these must also be equal. And instead of half of angle B and half of angle B, we can write these two angles. So by side angle side we can confirm that and triangle AOB is congruent to triangle AOC this is by side angle side property now if these two triangles AOB and AOC are congruent so obviously by CPCT these two angles must also be equal and if these two angles are equal so clearly this must be bisecting angle A so I can write that angle OAB must be equal to angle OAC this is by CBCT and if these two angles are equal so obviously OA must bisect angle A so this is how you can prove this second part also. I hope you have understood how to solve this question. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact us. The phone number, the email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.